Hi Sagittarius, what's up? Welcome to another love reading of yours. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please keep in mind, time is fluid. You could have dealt with this energy. I will be dealing with in the future. I'm going to read out the energies of the cards here and uh, feel free to switch the energies. Some of the energies can be vice versa. So you can assign the rules accordingly, all right? For a private reading, my information is going to be down below. So check that out. All right. What happened in the past? What is the current situation? What's going on in the person's mind that you're dealing with? How, do, how does the person view my Sagittarius? What is in their deepest emotions for my Sagittarius? If you're broken up, what do they think about reconciling? If they're with you, then how do they want to move forward? Okay. What is going on behind the scene? What are the blockages? What is the advice from Tarot? And what is the likely outcome? Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Empress in Reverse. That is a lack of growth, lack of expansion. Someone's not feeding the connection, okay? Someone's doubting the connection. There's a lack of commitment. You guys are nurturing the connection enough, okay? You could be dealing with a parent. You could be dealing with a mother or a father. Um, the Empress is usually a mother, but it's not about the, uh, the gender. It's more about the energy of the card feminine energy but someone who's not feeling the connection anymore okay this could be someone who's a people pleaser this could be someone who gave and gave and gave into the connection to a point of exhaustion but overall energy i don't see growth and expansion here there's a delay in a brand new beginning all right okay in the past we have the knight of wands here so you could be dealing with a player you could be dealing with someone who likes to live in the moment okay they come in and they leave all right this is someone who's not really into commitment and uh, they're very passionate about you yes yeah, so there's someone who was very passionate about you who rushed in you could have had a lot of passionate communication that came in in the past um right now the current situation we see the three of swords here that's a separation a breakup you could be going through a breakup of separation some kind of emotional trauma something cut you deep could be cheating you could have cut someone out of your life that hurt you could be a third party situation. I don't feel it right now, but we'll see. Um, what is on this person's mind? On this person's mind, there could have been a situation where this person was probably coming towards you with an offer. The thing is that this offer, when this person comes in, right, they're super slow, okay? They're on. They're, they're at a snail space, okay? So probably there was slow and steady movement that was coming towards you. They're invested. There was someone who was invested, but it's just that they're too slow. Okay, they don't they don't do the jumping head first. All right, this was more like planning behind the scenes and moving forward slowly but very cautiously. But now, right now, what's on their mind? They're not moving their ass at all. Okay, they're not doing anything. They're not making any move. They're just staying at one place. They feel stuck and stagnant. Okay, there could be a situation where probably you know it's just going round and round. It's going in circles, but you're just getting nowhere. All right, but right now there's someone who's come to a complete halt. Okay, there's a delay in an offer. Could be that someone's taken something for granted and uh, that's why things are here to a halt. Or this could also be someone, you know, who just does not want to put in the effort, don't, doesn't want to put in the work and they're just being stubborn and lazy, okay? This is a lack of commitment. Uh, how do they view you? They view you as the hermit in reverse. They view you as coming out of isolation and wanting to talk to them. If you've ghosted them, they want to. They, they view you as coming to talk to them. Okay, they feel that you've had your time and now you want to come and talk to them. They they have a feeling that you will. All right. Okay, guys. Like I said, right. This is. I'm going to read this as Sagittarius. You feel free to switch the energies. For right now, I'm going to do for Sagittarius. So this is how they view you, Sagittarius. What's in their deepest emotions for you, Sagittarius, is the page of cups and pearls. There's a lack of communication here. Okay. I think. Either they're seeing things for more real, they don't want to make any unrealistic moves, or this is someone who you're dealing with who's very, very emotionally immature, okay? They're not offering their emotions to you right now. How do they want to move forward with you? I'm assuming, I likely chances they don't want to because with the nine of wands in reverse here, I think they're giving up. This is someone who, you know, you could, this relation could have been a very in and out relationship, like I said, with the nine, nine, knight of wands here, okay? You could have come a long way with this person. This could have been, you know, 
a relationship that starts, stops, starts, stops, starts, stops. With the nine of wands in reverse here, I think, look, either there's this is someone here who's wanting to give up, okay, or they're just giving up completely. They're too tired to fight for something and they're giving up. Could be that they're putting their defenses down, but I don't see that. We'll see. The clarifiers can change the entire reading. What's going on the be behind the scenes is the seven of swords in reverse. Someone feels very, very guilty. All right. This is someone wanting to return back after uh, avoiding a situation. But I feel this is someone who's feeling guilty after being sneaky, after being deceptive. Your advice is the two of pentacles in reverse. Drop it. Okay. Your advice is to drop this person. If you are going back and forth, back and forth with the decision, make a decision, get clarity. Okay. Stop juggling. That's your advice. Make a choice. Don't be lacking clarity is going to get even it, it's going to be even more confused there's going to be even more confusion likely outcome there's again a delay there are three delays here i feel there's delay 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 there's a delay here there's a delay here on the person's mind there's a delay that's why there's a delay in the overall energy and that's why there's a delay in the likely outcome i see there is a potential for a new beginning okay i see there is a potential for a commitment but someone's just stopped coming towards you okay and the reason is because of the current situation there's a breakup or separation someone feels cheated could be cheating could be third party someone feels betrayed backstab although i don't see the ten of swords here but okay all right let's clarify Apply for the Empress in reverse. Apply for the Empress in reverse. Why is the Empress in reverse here? Yeah. Someone wants to come out of the cold, okay? There is a lack of... This is someone who, the, who didn't see growth and expansion. Or there was someone here who didn't want to create anything new with you. They were lacking commitment. They were uh, probably listening to other people. Could be. But now there's someone who wants to return back to you from the past. Someone who you left out in the cold, okay? A lot of returning. Clarify the five of pentacles in reverse. Someone, something's revealed with the high priestess in reverse, okay? Either someone's trusting their logic over their intuition, but this is something revealed. Someone, there's some information that someone kept very quiet about. There could have been a secret that came out, and now someone wants to come and talk. What is this high priestess in reverse? Someone has clarity. Someone could have had their options open. Someone was keeping their options open or could be someone who was very confused. But now they're very clear about what they want. They have clarity. There's some revelation that they've had. Okay, and now they have clarity about a situation. Why is the Knight of Wands here? So in the past, someone came in, rushed in. And with the Queen of Cups here, I think you fell in love with this person. Okay. You were trusting your intuition with this person, with the Queen of Cups here. This is someone who's very compassionate. I see an age difference between you and this person. You could be older to this person, but there's an age difference, 100%, okay? I feel it's like the guy is younger and the woman is older, all right? Doesn't have to be. I have the Queen of Cups. Someone's very, very mature. Someone wants a relationship, I'm assuming. And the other person is more like, you know, in and out. They're, you can't tie this person. The Knight of Wands, he's a traveler. He's in full speed, okay? He's he's very flighty, all right? He comes in, he leaves, okay? He doesn't stay. They're not here to stay. And you probably fell in love with this person. And you wanted something very mature, relationship, committed. I have the Queen of Cups. See? This could be a soulmate connection. You could have felt a strong soulmate tie with this person, okay? If not a soulmate connection, this is a soulmate connection 100%. Again, I see a very, there should be a significant difference between you both. But yes, you have the best of memories with this person, okay? This is a strong soul tie that you felt in the past with this person. You're missing this person. They missed you. Someone came back from the past. If not, then this is a soulmate connection. They feel it too. Why is the Three of Swords here as the current situation? Why is the Three of Swords here as the current situation for Sagittarius? After the heartbreak, someone's coming in to express their feelings with the Knight of Cups here. This is your Prince Charming. Finally, again, a Knight. Okay, so again, there is an age difference, but it's better work is from the Wands. Now this person genuinely has fallen in love with you, I'm guessing. With the Knight of Cups here, they're coming in with their Cup of Love. Okay, they're expressing their feelings. They're wanting to be very, very vulnerable. And this is your Prince Charming, okay? This is someone extremely romantic and full of emotions. Finally opening up. Fly for the Knight of Cups. 
Okay. So they want marriage and commitment with you. Someone wants this. Someone wants marriage commitment. This is a twin flame connection. Someone wants to be with you forever. Wow. This is a lot of stability, security coming in. Okay, so this person is coming in with the, uh, with an offer of marriage, and this could be after a breakup. Okay, after a separation. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. And why is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse? If this is how expressive the person wants to be, then why why has the person stopped? Clarify for the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Someone was a cheater or a liar with the magician in reverse. Someone was a fraud. This is someone who didn't have the best of intentions. They wanted to manifest. Uh, they couldn't manifest something. Okay. Someone felt powerless about a situation. Or there could be someone who wanted everything but they didn't take action. Or they didn't manifest in the right way. Okay. Why the magician in reverse? This could also be someone who stopped. They were coming in towards you with an offer, but they completely stopped because with the magician in reverse, they thought something was impossible, okay? They felt like they, they felt very powerless about a situation and they felt that they don't have everything that it takes to make this happen. This is someone who doubts themselves, okay? This is the magician in reverse is self-doubt, self-doubt syndrome, you know, self-limiting beliefs, doubting your own self. I'm very surprised that the Eight of Swords is near. But for the magician in reverse... Now someone's defensive, their guards are up. Someone screwed up here and the only screw up I see here is the three of swords. So I feel there was someone who was coming in, Sagittarius, towards you with an offer and with the magician in reverse, I think they feel that someone played a trick on them. Okay, someone did them dirty. Something went wrong. Someone was being manipulative, highly manipulative and... Um, Someone realized that someone didn't have the best of intentions or they never intended to have a commitment with them or they were just flighty or whatever. And now with the seven of wands here, someone's very, very defensive now. They're standing their ground. Someone's not like wanting to give in to this, okay? This is, you could have blocked this person. They could have blocked you. Try for the hermit in reverse. Try for the hermit in reverse. They view you as someone who wants to return to them after isolation, but with the moon here, they feel you have a lot of secrets. See, something's hidden here. There's a lot of secrets here, okay? Could be fear, but I feel, try for the moon. What is the moon here? Is this deep emotions or is this fear? Try for the moon here. They view you as uh, regaining control of the situation after a period of a, a lot of um, I feel probably they feel that you want to come back to them but with the moon year you're hiding your emotions. They feel you're hiding your emotions with the moon year. You, this is secrets but I don't feel this is something nasty. You're hiding your emotions here. You're keeping quiet. This is a lot of unknown. Okay, And with the emperor year they feel you're taking control over the situation. They feel you want to come out of isolation and talk to them, but you're hiding your feelings. And with the emperor here, I think they feel that you've got control over yourself. You're not get, you're using your logic, your reasoning, and you're not uh, being, you don't have any emotional bias anymore. You're not giving it this an emotional approach like you always did before. Because I think you were the queen of cups earlier, Sagittarius. But now you're being the emperor and you're not, you're not using your emotions and your heart. You're using your head this time. All because of the three of swords here. Clap for the page of cups in reverse. Clap the page of cups in reverse. So they're not talking and at the same time, so there are two cards where there's no communication. But with the page of pentacles in reverse here, yes, this is again more lack of communication here. That's what's going on in their emotions. But this is again not offering stability, not offering anything secure, not offering anything that has value. And I feel that they're procrastinating. Clarify for the page of pentacles in reverse. This is someone who is like all talk, no action. Okay. And dealing with someone. This is someone very immature you're dealing with. The knight there, the page of cups, the page of pentacles. Very immature. And look at your energy. Queen of cups, the emperor. I feel that is how it is. I feel there's someone very mature and someone who's immature. Clarify for the page of pentacles. I feel there's someone here who knows that, you know what, now you're not giving into their shit. And you're not giving into their nonsense anymore. 
and once they know that probably i think after you cut them out with the three of swords here now they're coming in to express how they feel and now they want the stability and security they want the four of wands they want something stable with you try for the page of pentacles in reverse yeah they feel you moving away they want a peaceful resolution if they're not moving away from you they definitely want a peaceful resolution they want to get into calmer waters okay yeah but with the hangman your yeah, things are on hold they feel stuck right now they want to get into calmer waters with you but there is a lack of communication lack that there's a lot of procrastination you're not giving in with the emperor here you're keeping your feelings hidden you want to talk but they're probably feeling that you've given up with the, with the nine of wands why is the nine of wands in reverse here they probably this is someone who's not wanting to fight for this anymore nine, nine of wands in reverse why is the nine of wands in reverse see because there's a lot of drama with the five of wands someone's giving up they feel they can't push through anymore because with the five of wands are either there are too many people or you guys just every single time you guys get together you're just not on the same page sagittarius too much conflict too much bickering and arguments and two people not on the same page ego clashes clashing personalities whatever have you yes this can be internal conflict but i mean they're all already giving up so i don't see this as internal conflict i i, I see this as someone who is you know um it's like a strive you know like i said a lot of drama okay there could be other people involved or this is just maybe they can't push through because they could have had too much on their plate also okay could be jealousy but this is a lot of pettiness also okay just constant tension there's a lot of tension between you guys and probably they're just like you know what for right now i think with the night with the six of swords here right for right now they don't want to communicate in their emotions they want to move away and with the hangman here they're they're not taking any action in their de deepest emotions and their current emotions they don't want to take any action they want to give this some time and for right now how they want to move forward they don't they, they cannot do this right now because of the five of wands here they feel every single time you guys get together or maybe they feel that if they call you they're just going to land up fighting with them so for right now they're just going to keep it on hold Clive with the seven of swords here. Why the seven of swords here? So what's going on behind the scenes? The seven of swords here. Okay, someone feels guilty, or it could be that there's someone here who could have been sneaking around, being deceptive. They want to come back. That's what's going on the, behind the scenes. This is what you don't know. But with the six of wands in reverse here, they feel it's just not going to work out. A lot of fire here, you know. There could have been a lot of passion here. I see very less emotions, but there's a lot of fire here. This is someone you know who's I, you're not giving them the attention, or they feel they're just not getting the attention that they need. Okay, they're feeling guilty. They want to come back, but with the six of wands in reverse, yeah, this could be someone very egoistic. But they know that even if they come back, they wanted to get you, you know. It's like there's a lack of success and victory with you. Okay, this could be someone who's coming back, but they have a fear of failure. All right, there was a lack of public recognition, anyways. but i feel this is someone who didn't get the attention that they wanted could be someone who's very very egoistic okay they could have been sneaky i like i'm saying they want to come back but i think they're egoistic this is someone who's holding back could be someone like i said before also okay this is someone the knight of pentacles in reverse the six of wands in reverse this is someone who probably wanted all the attention also without putting in the effort all right and that's why with the magician in reverse they could have been trying to manipulate the situation okay they could they're wearing a false mask 100% right this is someone who's wearing a false mask and with the seven of wands i feel now you're very defensive you've blocked their ass 100% but for right now i feel that they're keep, keeping things on hold they don't want to move forward with you for now or this is could be you who doesn't want to move forward with them because they anyways view you as someone who's keeping their emotions hidden and with the emperor here you're regaining control of the situation you're not giving into any bullshit Why is the two of pentacles in reverse as advice? Why is the two of pentacles in reverse as advice for Sagittarius? <sighs> All right, so Sagittarius, I feel that you have a choice between two people because this could be because we have the lovers here. I think it's asking you to make a choice. You could be juggling two people. 
or they could be okay look understand that the reading probably this reading i'm reading for sagittarius but maybe it's completely the reading is completely for the cross watcher and this advice is for the cross watcher they need to make a choice they need to make a head over heart decision okay and they need to drop one thing like i said before right we have a uh, three of swords here there could be a third person involved <clears throat> the advice is to make a choice make a head over heart decision okay because this is your soulmate you you probably need to make a choice between uh, two soulmates okay you need to drop one you you got to stop the juggling or you stop being back you know you, you stop need to, uh, needing to be back and forth with your decisions okay be very very clear look someone's clear here with the overall energy whoever's returning back to you or from the cold with the high priestess in reverse and the seven of cups in reverse i feel someone's got clarity there has been some information that has come out to the surface and now they're very clear about what they want okay but because the empress in reverse that's on hold the new beginning is on hold your likely outcome with the ace of pentacles in reverse is again oh, there's a lot of delay delay here because someone's kept everything on hold with the hangman here could be dealing with the pisces i don't give out the zodiac signs because it doesn't really matter because then people get stuck up on the on, on the zodiac signs it's the energies guys it's the energies it's not the gender it's not the zodiac sign it's just the energies of the cards all right we have the emperor and the empress here so this is a very divine couple all right it's just that the emperor is now standing in the power and the empress here i feel like this is someone here you know what who gave in and gave in in the relationship and she got nothing back not she but this person got nothing back okay this feminine energy and now the feminine energy is like you know what i'm going to be in my power now i can't take this shit anymore you manipulated me with a magician in reverse and now the other person recognizes it and now with the knight of cups and the four of wands here they want something stable but the, but the current situation with the three of swords here definitely i think you've severed ties with someone okay there was definitely a breakup separation divorce i don't see a lot of marriage cards here but yes someone was very very heartbroken or then you know what you could have just been very mentally very distant third party involvement you you probably or they probably allowed something or someone else to come between you and your person okay something has caused tears and heart wait a heartache okay in the current situation and it's just left you traumatized okay all right why is the ace of pentacles in reverse as a likely outcome why is the ace of pentacles in reverse as a likely outcome see someone's not taking action someone's trying to play it cool someone's not serious about this that's what the fuck up is they're not serious about this you know look they're not even talking page of cups in reverse page of pentacles in reverse king of wands in reverse another immature energy okay this could be someone who's married and who's cheating or this could just be someone who's non committal okay look they want to offer stability right but with the knight of cups your knight is again a traveler right he's coming towards you this will, he will come he'll sweep you off your feet and then he'll leave if he has to right they don't stay we want the king right kings stay queens are there you're the queen we have knights here everywhere you're pissed off you're taking control of the situation you probably thought this was a soulmate connection but with the knight of wands here this guy was flighty this guy or girl whoever this was this was someone who was flighty this was a player you were dealing with probably uh um you know this was someone probably who was not even moving their ass at all towards commitment i think you gave in and gave in and gave in and they were okay with it why by the cow when the milk is for free i think that's what was going on so someone's just not serious okay someone's not taking action the king of wands can also be someone you know who just doesn't know much about their emotions okay he's um he's someone who's just who's still deciding okay could be someone who's very very unsure about what they want okay could be someone who's dealing with other people and that's why they're inconsistent they're just acting up they're being difficult this is someone who makes very short term decisions okay bad decision maker ladies man inconsistent very unfaithful temperamental so, you know everything's a game everything's a joke for them okay this could be someone who's giving you mixed signals okay and that's why you were probably confused in the past with the 7 of cups here but now you're very clear 
Why is the King of Wands in reverse here? Why is the King of Wands in reverse here? They're very indecisive with the Two of Wands here. Why is the Two of Wands in reverse here? Why is the Two of Wands in reverse here? Yeah. I think you're the one who's made a decision because they're like this and with, I think you're going to make a decision and you're not going to take a risk. With the Two of Wands in reverse here, I feel this is in being very, very decisive. You're sure. You had a path to choose. You were at a crossroads. Anyways, you were deciding what to do. Look, with the Emperor, you, you already had control over the situation. You took the reins in your hand and I think you've made a choice. And with the Fool in reverse here, even if this person's coming in, you're not ready to give this a risk, okay? Because you have trust issues, huge trust issues. You've been through hell and back and you feel it's something's a very risky business for you here, okay? And with the fool in reverse here, you're not taking a leap of faith with this person. You don't trust this person at all. This person could have hurt you very bad. With the three of swords here, this is could be a third party situation. Okay, definitely could. 